RuPaul always says one of the mo one of the bravest things anybody can do is walk out of their house in a pair of pumps and a, a wig, and um, I, I agree with that a lot because what you're doing is you're telling the world that who you think I am or who you see me as every single day, I can be somebody else, and that's pretty scary. You know, some people get weirded out changing their hats when they leave. Some some people get weirded out when they get a new haircut. Um, for drag queens, it's a little bit different. Uh, we leave our house knowing that we're not presenting the same gender as what we, you know, were born with or what we usually present with every single day. And um, the first time I got in drag was uh, very uh, fun. It was so much fun. It was in June of 2018 and uh, for Pride in San Marcos. And I have two really good friends who live in San Marcos, uh, Corey and Sade. Um, I went to kindergarten with Corey. We've known each other ever since. We taught in Mexico together and then his girlfriend, Sade. So she helped me get a wig. Um, she helped me put on my eyebrows. Um, it took me, I think, five and a half hours to get ready that day just because you don't know what you're doing. Um, she helped me put on my lipstick and everything like that. I put on the one dress that I owned um, and these terrible shoes. And uh, I was so scared and so nervous. I walked up the stairs to the club and there was this one guy sitting there, his name is Cole, and he's a regular of that bar, but um, he was like, girl, yes, like work, slay. Just gave me all the affirmation that I kind of needed um, for my first time. I had so much fun, and you know, that's when it kind of hit me. I've always been a theater kid, a band kid, um, a journalism kid, and being able to be your own one woman show at all times is really fun. And it's 100% freeing. I, I really, I, I think everybody should do drag one time. Um, you know, men, women, and everyone in between. I think everybody should feel what, what we feel um, every time we, we put on all of this. It's liberating. Um, it's. It's like escaping yourself and the most you could ever escape yourself and be somebody else. And there's a lot of freedom in that. Um, you can really say whatever you want and do whatever you want and be whoever you want. And uh, you usually can't do that in real life. So I loved it. I had a great time. So in 2018, um, I went through a pretty bad breakup and um, he cheated on me with a girl and um, it was really hard. Um, I'm a pretty emotional person, and so when something like that happens, I usually like retreat inward, and drag, especially like Shay's Lounge, helped me literally like leave the house. Um, it was hard for me as a man to, to, to leave the house, to talk to people. I just didn't feel like myself at all. So I know it sounds kind of weird, but being someone else, becoming Shay's Lounge and kind of finding out who Shay's Lounge was um, really helped me as, as a man process uh, everything that was going on in my life at the time and helped me find my confidence again and helped me find who I was again. Um, to me, drag queens are a, they're clowns for adults. You know, they're clowns for drunk adults. That's even better. And so I could escape into this fantasy world of make-believe, you know, where I could be the richest woman in the world. I could be um, the sluttiest woman in the world. I could be the woman with the most makeup on. I could be the woman with the most jewels on. I could, I could be anything I wanted to be. And in 2018, I wanted to be anybody else but, but myself. And so Shay's Lounge really helped me with that.